What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Chuck Miller's play Sonic Heroes Part Six. We are now entering the Hang Castle Zone, the fifth zone in the game. And And the first of a few uh, scary or Halloween-ish themed levels that, we, that we'll see in the Sonic series. There's not too many of them. The first one really started with Pumpkin Hill, and it also went on with uh, Sky Rail Zone, which is still in the Pumpkin Hill region in Sonic Adventure 2. And then they just uh, followed it on to this game with Hang Castle, or the Hang Castle Zone. And they used uh, used a f another level in Shadow the Hedgehog. And that's about it for these types of zones. All right, so as you can see, those ghosts will actually hurt you, so you want to be very careful while messing with them. Further on in this zone, and in Act Two, they will. Uh, be moving, so you want to you want to watch out for those. I, I will point them out when they pop up. As always, you can actually hit them to uh, gain points, just like any normal enemy. So you don't have to worry about. Uh, let's see, I think there's just another way to go down here. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, so you know, it's it's just up to you whether you want to waste the time doing it with uh, other teams you may want to, but with Team Sonic, always remember that it is speed-based, not uh, too focused on enemy score. I see. Yeah, so that magician uh, healing robot, whatever you want to call it, will heal any egg ponds that are in the in the area. And let's see what Yeah, so you want to make sure you are, you are uh, of course the flight formation while you, while you're trying to do that, but those magicians if you flip them over with the tornado spin, ah crap, wrong button. Uh or what wrong formation. But yes, if you do flip them over with the uh uh flight formation you will or not flight for, uh, s speed formation with the tornado jump, they will turn into a dark mage or magician or whatever you want to call it, which will which will uh hurt you and will be a lot harder to kill, so if you can, if you see one of those magicians, okay, so you actually had to go that way, I, I didn't, I had forgotten that, I thought you just, I thought all you have to do is just uh, walk up to the door and it would open, alright, so that will destroy uh, all of the robots in the area, you can see whenever they have this musical note over their heads, that means they are being healed, and you want to watch out and be careful once they are like that. There's a... In this zone, there are a few hidden sections like that in the wall. And uh, you really... I'm not sure if you can tell ahead of... Like, if you can see any... Uh, holes in the wall or anything like that to tell whether they... Can be broken. I'll just try to go after some different walls to see if they can break or not let's see there's okay th this guy has a machine gun instead of a single shot like the like most of the other ones have so you want to uh, of course watch out for him he he will uh, definitely be a lot harder to kill than the single shot uh, egg, egg pawns and let's see uh, those magi the, the dark magicians 
Well, I guess I, I guess I'll talk about this. If you, as you can see, this is almost like a different another zone because the, the music changes, and there's different enemies that you'll see, and those magicians will be uh, flipped upside down while they are while the castle is turned upside down like this. They will. Uh, how and this is a lot more platforming than usual in these in these sections and this will I believe create another path for us if we can destroy both of them okay well I guess you're supposed to fly out okay, that's right you guys are supposed to fly out there towards it so just jump and then uh, wait for as long as you can to fly up there but you have to make sure that you have to remember that you cannot fly very high and you won't be able to uh, recover if you fall down too far. Crap. All right, so that's that's the uh, moving ones that I was talking about. Let's see what we got. Uh, I was gonna flip him upside down to, s to show you what he looked like, but I think I'm gonna yeah, I was gonna say I think I'm gonna kill him here. It's rare for Knuckles to be the only one that isn't all the way leveled up either. Uh, let's see, there should be a switch back here, yeah. Oh, well, okay, wow. Well, that's why you always have to make sure when, when you're in this zone to always look behind you. It'll definitely help you out. Well, unless you lose it all to a ghost. Alright, so this, you want to be careful while moving along this platform, or along this hidden path. You want to make sure you're the flight formation, definitely, and just take it slow. As you can see, these torches are—they uh, will stay there forever. Uh, they will stay there permanently until you continue to move on. These ghosts are a pain in the ass. Uh, you, I don't think they actually give you score. I thought they did, and you can't actually tell uh, if you notice that that wall back there. I believe it's up here. If, if you, yeah, if you notice that wall, I was able to, you could see that it kind of looked like, cr look cracked and broken. That's the way you can tell where a robot is. Alright, so I'll flip him upside down just to show you what he looks like. Alright, now this guy is harder to kill, and instead of healing the, his enemies, he will instead put a spell on the ground that will drain your rings as long as you're on top of it. Alright, so if you see a if the wall looks like that, it can be busted open. Because that will help you out. And that's why you don't want to uh, break him open. Ow. Well, or you don't want to flip him upside down. I'm sure you will see the spell later on. Uh, pretty soon in the, in the next uh, level, or the next act. And be careful, these are the same metal encased robots that we've been fighting before. And, you and they do have machine guns, so you want to be careful and watch out for them. Let's see. They're flying through here, and uh, you can just use... It's actually best if you use the flight formation because you can, if you do save, if you do fall, you can uh, save yourself and keep on the, the path that you're going on. You can see they even. Oh crap! Told you where to go from here. You want to save this team blast, I believe, uh, for a a battle that's coming up here in a minute. Come on, there. Nope. Okay, Knuckles isn't all the way uh, transformed, so it's not gonna. Uh, there we go. We're not transformed, but leveled up, so it's not gonna be as effective. Yeah, these are definitely some pretty long zones. These are uh, acts. These uh, the Hang Castle zone. Oh, you want to be so careful while doing this. You've seen me fail before while doing this. Let's see. Be careful while you're messing with these robots because they will spawn a whole lot of uh, other robots. There we go. If you can see.
see the statue is just a statue of Robotnik himself. But if you can see those poles, we are going to have to move out, move out towards it and break the statue. So be prepared for that. Let's see. Uh, okay, I guess we have to hit this t target to. That's right. Okay. And then just don't, do not touch anything. Just like in uh, the second zone, just don't, don't touch anything. Let Sonic do all the work. It doesn't matter which set of. Uh, don't worry about which set of poles you go on. There is no benefit to attacking either. Uh, if we're going along any one set, you just uh, like, don't touch anything, and you won't fall or die. Yeah, you crap. I was gonna say, yeah, you want to be careful while uh, messing around through here. This is better if you use uh, speed or, well, if he wasn't flying around like a spaz, we may have got eight more points. Ah, oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. Be careful because it's, ah, it's a little weird with the controls. It seems to want to push you for uh, to the to the right for whatever reason while running down here. So you're gonna have to constantly. Uh, keep correcting your course and move it to the left every now and again to keep it in the middle. But yeah, that was this zone and it took too long, of course. Yeah, really that, that ain't too bad. If I would have kept a lot more of my rings, it, that would have definitely helped out, but uh, could have saved a little bit more time not messing around with the ghosts. I did lose some pretty precious seconds messing with the ghosts. They don't actually give you score. I thought they did. They may. Uh, they may give you a bonus if you can hit them more than just a single ghost, kind of like the egg ponds. That may help out, or if you can link up mo uh, multiple hits, like with a ghost, and then kill a couple egg ponds. Now, for whatever reason, you will see skeletons behind the doors there, but once you get around to the other side, you'll see that there is nothing there. It is a little weird, but it's... Uh, there are actually different teams that will go through that door. And as you can see, we now have hit that button or switch or whatever they were calling it and went through and got to an actual place with a door. Now this place is definitely really hard and it will... It will uh, mess with you a lot while you're trying to go through here just because of all the switches and a lot of different things like that so you just want be careful take your time you know you don't take too much but you don't, you can definitely go at a slower pace through here and of course this goes without saying it but always go after the magician first especially in a large crowd of robots and be careful if you see any Oh, you can see Egg Pond statues. Sometimes they will... They'll either make the paintings come to life or they will turn... Alright, so this is a time when you use the Team Blast, but... they'll e The switches like that will either make the statues appear or... They will make the paintings come to life. And so you want to be very careful while... Uh, dealing with these types of switches. And always make sure you can save a... Team Blast. Well, I thought I killed him. Yeah, just make sure you stay away from... Oh, crap. Ah. Yeah, that's why you want to kill him. I didn't think Sonic would immediately target him. That's why I kind of jumped away from him, but... Yeah, it's not as detailed as I thought they would give. I think some teams will give a better... Uh, give more detail about that enemy. 
Now this one is definitely a lot harder than the bobsleds from the previous levels. Because you have to watch the the lasers and also the ghosts. There will be uh, balloons around here that you can get if you can time it a little bit better than that. Well, ended up losing Sonic, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see, we're gonna need definitely gonna need uh, flight for this for this next section. So, if you can get your uh, flight formation up all the way or most of the way. And remember, since this is Act Two, that you want to uh, keep any keys that you find. There, this. This is where we'll start seeing a lot more. Uh, where we'll start getting more shields a little bit more frequently for the teams because these levels are going to be a lot harder. And I think I'm supposed to hit this one. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, this does get confusing and pretty annoying after a while, so be careful. Uh, just take your time with it. You know, you don't want to rush anything. And this is why we definitely want to have our flight character leveled up almost or all the way to get that. Alright, so you can see you can jump down there to kill him, but there ain't no benefit to it. And you can see this is a new type of uh, new type of rail, which looks like a spider's web. And you can see that you move along different the different rails in the different directions. So you do want to be careful while dealing with that. That's good. It got knuckles all the way leveled up. Uh, walls you can break. There we go. I believe that if you was to keep break something in here, you could open that. Okay, I think it's up up the road here a little bit where you can break that case and get the life out of it, or get the rings out of here. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't play these levels all that much, so I'm not all that familiar with the uh, this level anyway. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, I have to wait till he's kind of up in the air to be able to uh, kill him. Let's see. There we go. You definitely want to always be flight if you can while going around through here let's see now you can use the uh, team blast here but it's best to save it and wait for another fight that's up the road here which involves opening more paintings oh no Yeah, so okay, what you would what you would normally do with this guy is you would uh, make him spin around with this hammer, then knock him down. Oh, crap. Then knock him down, and that would knock his helmet off, and then you could attack him normally. But it's just easier if you do have a team blast to go ahead and use it. I was going to show you the, the right way to kill him, but I lost my shield, and I want to make sure that I can keep... The uh, key with me. There, there is usually like Chow keys in Sonic Adventure 2. There's always three keys in every act, but they're not always right where you want them to be. So you do have to be careful and cautious about when you get them. Let's see. And that should be everybody leveled up. And another bobsled. Or trolley car. All right, you won't gain any bonus if you do beat the time limit, so don't worry about that. You can see it there, but you, like as I said, you won't gain any bonuses for it. Uh, don't worry about the uh, armored car there; it shouldn't affect you. And do, don't panic or uh, punch anything. You know, uh, Knuckles will take care of 
the uh, we'll take care of it just take it easy be careful while going through here make sure you're the flight formation because there will be a ghost up here that will, that will hurt you so you want to be careful and jump a little bit sooner than when the gigantic skeleton hand tells you to now this is where you will lose a lot more of your people a lot quicker oh crap ah crud 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 uh, yeah I, I don't play this level that much and I really don't like it especially this session or this section I definitely won't get an A but I hope I still will get the uh, key because I believe I've only found two there should be one more up the road uh, in a in the last section of the level Yeah, it wouldn't really have helped if I had the shield anyways. It's just I don't practice enough with in this level. And I haven't played this level in a good little while, so not that familiar with it. For speed purposes, you can uh, use another character, such as Sonic. But for safety, I would definitely just say stick with Tails. Timing is everything. Ah. I believe this is where our last key is. And it sucks that I don't have everybody leveled up anymore. That will definitely make it difficult. Ah. But maybe that's only with uh, Team Rose that that's where the key is. Yeah, definitely would love to be fully leveled while going through here. But, oh well, it wasn't that bad, I don't guess. Yeah, this is definitely a bad spot. What you can do, however, is well, if you're on a wall and you're trying to triangle jump, you can jump off by hitting the B button and that will drop you instead of uh, ha having you jump off of it and so that's a great way to fall where you want to go and it's a little bit more precise now be careful in here because this is a room full of ghosts and this is another section where you can lose your key and this is an area where I've lost many keys while trying to go through here trying to get the uh, chaos emerald for different teams. Yeah, okay, so this room there are three altars, each with a different formation uh, labeled above them. And you have to use each formation's different abilities to go through here, as you can see. As you can see, the backgrounds are uh, blue with, for Sonic. They will be yellow for Tails and uh, red for Knuckles. Every team will actually have to go through that room, but the level of difficulty will be different for each team. So what you just want to make sure that you're right above or close to the end of the wall before you try to triangle jump up there. It'll definitely help you out a lot more than just uh, uh, going for it. Let's see, there is a pulley that you can grab, and I believe this will keep you above the ghosts. And you shouldn't get hit by any of the ghosts if you get onto this. Then you can kind of plan wh where you want to fall a little bit better. And you can use uh, Thunder Shoot more strategically. See. Be careful while trying to uh, be, be careful while trying to use the sp uh, light speed dash through there. As you've seen, I have messed up often while trying to use the light speed dash. You want to be a little bit uh, faster 
while going through here because this guy can shoot you. And it doesn't matter the. It, oh, that's right. Okay. And he'll he he'll, he'll, he will st steal 20 rings from you, and then he'll just keep appearing and disappearing after he steals your rings. And then once you if you can flip him over and turn him into a just a healing magician, he will give your rings back. So if you, but they will only be 20. And it doesn't matter which order you complete these altars in. I just. Uh, do it in uh, speed, flight, and power. That's just you know that's that's just the way I do it. Everybody can do it different ways, and it's probably easier if you try to go after, say, like this one first, then the flight, uh, or then the speed formation. Let's see. Uh, you want to save your team blaster here? I, I was about to say, okay, well, I can just use a team blast to uh, make this a little bit quicker, but you want to save it for the, the power fight. So make sure you don't uh, waste it while going through here. Not really, but that's what you got to do to make it through here. And just trying to touch down away from the robot. That goes without saying, just and then just immediately you hit team blast. And you want to make sure you don't obviously don't land on the uh, crate in case you get a level up for somebody. As I said, I, I won't get a A rank. And I have to go back for the key. So this will be one of those videos where I have to uh, put the Chaos Emerald at the end, sadly. Get tired of doing that, but, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so this is a another robot carnival. Instead, but this is Robot Storm, and it's a lot. A lot more robots, and a lot more uh, different types of robots, and very difficult to go through. For this section, you want to try to disable as many as you can with Thundershoot, and then either use the power or speed formation to knock them out. To try to gain uh, levels up for different characters, and try not to attack the spears, obviously. And it may not have been a good idea to tornado jump or tornado spin all of those guys away, but just because you can lose the any levels or power cores that there would have been. Oh crud! Uh, yeah, that's right. You can. Let's see. You can use the uh, flight formation to kill the, these turtles, I believe. Just uh, send thunder shoot out. That's a safer way to do it. Or you can just run through here, try to uh, flip about three or four of them up at a time, and immediately homing attack them. Or you can use Thunder Shoot on them. Oh. And you can die very easily. That's why you have to use the uh, flight formation a often and a lot. Just to keep yourself from uh, falling. It's safe to knock about four of them down. You usually try to go after the green ones if you can, but you, it's kind of hard to aim, so don't. Don't try to uh, just shoot. That's pretty much just what you have to uh, what to do. Just if, you, of course, if you do go a little bit higher, well, that was a waste. Alternatively, you can just use the fireball dunk to one-shot them, and it'll save you from 
having to worry about going up and uh, falling like I just did using the homing attack, but you have to cycle through the flight formation, stun them, and then use the power formation to uh, kill them. For this one, you would ne you're going to need to use the Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just, just use the fireball dunk for these guys. If you if you get lucky enough to get a a uh, flight formation power core for both times, that'll definitely help you out, especially through here. But if not, just use the power formation a lot more until you have your sp uh, speed formation character leveled up to 2 so that he can immediately one-shot whatever he hits. And there we go. Well, I guess he, I guess he wouldn't one-shot anything unless he's level 3, so... Uh, you can probably use your Team Blast here. I guess I'll go ahead and do that now and see if I get some power cores for knuckles you will gain you will gain another one towards the end of the of this uh, robot the robot storm so you don't have to worry about saving it as much but you will definitely need it at the end or it's a lot harder and a lot longer to deal with all right so what you want to do for this first set is stay in the back and hit all of the robots that fall and if your power character is leveled up to 2 as you saw you can uh, you can level, uh, you can knock the stone shields off you can see why the uh, uh, the I'm sorry, I'll remember it. The magicians are such a pain uh, are such a pain to deal with. All right, so as you can see, you can gain these these balloons. They will have different items in them. You want to make sure you don't shoot uh, the power character out of the cannon, or you will die. You just hit the B button to to pop out of the cannon, and you won't uh, fall or get hurt or anything like that. All right, for these shields, you're gonna have to either use the uh, tornado jump or tornado spin or whatever it's called and then just use uh, knuckles but it's just it's not safer but it's a lot easier just to go ahead and use knuckles here's another section where you can use the uh, team Blast, as you see, it does fill up rather quickly. As I've said before, it fills up with actions. You know, you can just continuously use Thunder Shoot on an enemy, and it will continue to fill up. That's a great way to... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Alright. Uh, this is definitely dangerous, but what you want to do for here is try to s just stun them all and then hit them from a from a ways back with uh, knuckles just like we did in uh, frog forest alternatively you can actually do what you're supposed to with them and knock them down and uh, get them but it's just a lot easier and a lot safer if you can hit them from back like I'm doing it won't necessarily guarantee to you an, an A rank, but if you can get most of these uh, 2,000 points, that's a great way to get needed uh, score. It is time-based, so, you know, if you don't do it fast enough, it will definitely hurt your score. Alright, before you, before you fall far enough and get into the yellow 
egg ponds there and their spotlights just immediately start shooting with uh, your flight character with the thunder shoot. Alright, so as you can see, the armored cars are back. They will shoot their uh, bombs at you, so be prepared for that. Just kind of sit close to towards the edge, and you can uh, hit them all. You can kind of see the pattern doesn't re doesn't really change all that much with the robots and the style and the different types of robots really don't change all that much. I don't think there's any balloons. Well, there is, but I'm not going to deal with it. I'm almost done. This should be the final the final stretch. All right. Use a team blast. There's way too many enemies here. Uh what you could do is knock out the magician first. Then go after the Alright, so did you notice I jumped after that power core? Well, it didn't stop me when the uh, cutscene appeared and I died. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I thank you for watching. You've you've seen it. I've, I, th I hope I've showed you how to do it and I hope I've given you enough information that if you do have a, tr do have a problem with this one, you can uh, just watch this video and find out how to do it. Try and don't go after any power cores that are by the edges once you've on that final platform, just don't worry about it, it's not worth it. But I've been watching the challenge of the video is how many ghosts did I see in the entire hang castle zone? I thank you for watching. The Emerald video should be starting now. Alright, so here's that Emerald video that I promised. Uh, as you can see, I did pretty poorly uh, on my second run through hang castle. There is actually a third key, like as I said before in the main Let's Play, there is three keys in every act. The third key was actually where I thought it was on the... Oh, wow. Okay, uh, the third key is in a cage flying above the uh, checkpoint right before the wall jump room. If you just have to, you have to fly up with the uh, fly formation to see how to get it. And that's great, especially if you have lost your key before you don't have to go through the whole zone again all right so you can see this is pretty standard uh fair for what we've been doing so far always make sure you go after the orange spheres with the uh, crap with the st stars on them because that will gain your boost gate or you will fill your boost gauge up faster and try to stay off the sides of the uh tube here and the bombs, even though the characters want to seem to go right for them for whatever reason. Alright, so this is the good section that'll... Whoa, what the hell? Well, that is new. <sighs> I just... As much as I like Sonic Heroes, it just seems find more and more things that really tick me off about it really honestly I mean it's really buggy I mean they people say the PS2 version is buggy I say the GameCube version is more buggy but anyway sorry about complaining anyway so there you go uh, I'm sure there's a lot more people that can do it a lot better than me but that's the sixth chaos emerald and there really isn't much to say about it. Just try to stay off the sides of the uh, tube, of course. Uh, if you noticed when I was running through that section where there was where there wasn't any spheres, you had to actually run around the tops the, to the top of the tube. That really isn't the best tactic to use, and I wouldn't have had to have gone that far if I if the game wouldn't have bugged out on me. I'm sure it's not going to bug out on you. So if you do make it to the field with uh, the long stretch with the orange spheres just use those and try to get up to it if you can get to it faster you know that's always better for your score and everything but of course if you can't then you know you can't but anyway there's your emerald video until next time